Hi, I'm Mir from Fluid Mirror. This is a recovery class. It's a lower body stretch class. What you need for this class is a scarf or a towel to assist you in some stretches. All right, let's begin the class. We're going to start with the supine glute stretch. So let's put the scarf away on the side and go ahead and lie on your back. Lie supine. Now like you too, have your, knee bent, have your knees bent, take your right ankle on top of the thigh, left thigh, lift the leg and look through your hands to the back of your left thigh. Now pull the left thigh towards your chest, allow the pelvis to settle down as much as you can. Now here with your right elbow, push away your right thigh from your chest. So your arms are active here, holding the legs and assisting you into the gluteal stretch, which is your bottom muscle on the right side. And we hold this position. Just take yourself into some breathing meditation, inhaling through the nose as you expand your rib cage. Exhaling, allow the body to soften down to the floor. Inhaling, allow the expansion of the rib cage, lengthening of the spine, exhaling. And can we actually pull your thigh a little closer and push your right thigh away from your chest even more to deepen your stretch. Again, inhale. Exhaling. Inhaling, making sure when you hold your leg that you're not pulling up on the shoulder. So allow some space between your neck, your jawline, your head and the shoulder. And keeping the front of the chest nice and open. Last breath here. Can we pull a little deeper, closer and let it go. Release the grip, release the leg and let's switch over to the other side. We have, my, we have our left leg over. And then loop your arms around the back of your right thigh. And I'm pulling the right thigh towards you as you push the left thigh away with your left elbow. And we hold the stretch here. Inhaling, return back to your breathing. Exhaling. Inhaling. As you exhale, can we deepen the stretch by pulling your right thigh towards you and pushing the left thigh away. Inhaling. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Allow the spine to settle down to the floor. Three more breaths. Pulling the thigh a little closer to you, pushing the left thigh away from you. Two more. Last one here. And release that. Okay, moving on to our hamstring stretch. Grab your scarf. Keep the knees bent. Take the right foot onto your scarf or the towel. Now dorsiflex the foot and then bring the leg as vertical as possible. Extend the knee as long as possible, but keep your pelvis in a neutral position. Now, once you have that position, your maximum hip flexion and knee extension, whatever that is for you today. Now, I'd like you to hold the stretch and walk your left leg, slide the left leg away without disturbing the pelvis. If you can maintain that neutral pelvis and with the leg straight, go ahead and straighten the leg. Otherwise, stop to wherever the position will be. Maybe slightly bend, maybe you stay at the original position. So I'd like you to choose 
the ideal position for you today. Now, onto the hamstring stretch. I like you to go into a deeper hip flexion. All right, with the maximum knee extension. Now here, inhale, energy through the bottom leg, the, stick, the stretch leg. We inhale, we fall through the hip and the knee. Exhale, think about knee extension. Inhale, folding through the hip, then the knee follows. Now hold the thigh. Can we take the knee to extension? So we're deepening the stretch in the hamstring. Inhale, hip flexion, which means your thigh will come close to your chest. Now hold that new range in your thigh, then take the knee Aha, into an extension and inhale. So eventually you come, the leg will come closer to your chest. In breath and exhale. Two more, in breath and exhale. Last one, in breath. Exhale, how far can you go? All right, and let it go. Release the foot, take it down to the floor. Bending the left knee in. Stretch your right leg out. No, 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 don't stretch your right leg out. Take the left leg up. I'm jumping some steps here. Okay. All right, so neutral pelvis, maximum hip flexion with knee extension. So you may still have your legs slightly bent and that will be your maximum today. That's fine. That's your body today. And this is my body today. And then walk your right leg along the floor to a range where you can still keep that pelvis in neutral or square. Okay, wherever that range is, it doesn't have to be straight like me on the floor. Now, you inhale, take the thigh to hip flexion and follow by the knee. Now you hold the thigh, you take the knee into extension. And in breath, folding through the hip and the knee. Exhale, straighten the knee. In breath. Exhale, inhale, hip flexion, exhale, knee extension. Again, three more, inhale, exhale, contract your quads and in breath. If your leg is shaking, let it be, it's good means that you're working hard. And then last one. And then exhale, reach, 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 reach. And let that go. Okay, release the foot down. You can put the scalp away to the side and then turn to your side and come up to sitting position. Time to stretch your inner thigh. So spread your legs wide, okay. Pelvis in the middle, stay in that neutral position. All right, now, not my favorite stretch, but, okay, reach your arm forward. Okay, I'm gonna move back a little bit. Reach your arms forward. So your pelvis is in a forward tilt. So lean forward. Okay. Whatever that is for you today, but I like you to engage your back muscles so we're not rounding the back here. We we'll allow the spine to be active, your back extensors to be active, but rotate the pelvis forward so you can come closer towards the floor. Wherever that range is for you, and then you hold that position, you hold that range and stay. Now, Softening through the elbow, lower, forward and down. And extend the elbow. And then softening the elbows, that will take your pelvis and your spine closer to the floor. And 
stretch it out again. And so, again, refrain yourself from rounding the back. Go to a long flat back as much as possible. So my abs are working to hold my spine. My back extensors is working as well to keep the length and reach out. Maybe you can slide further forward now. And we soften and we stretch. And three more, soften and we stretch. Two more, softening and we stretch. Maybe walk your hand even more. Get yourself closer and closer to the floor and stay there for five, four, three, two, one, and walk yourself back. And come on up, okay? Bring your legs in, that's a big stretch. Okay, now, all right, let's go into lunge position. I'm gonna have my left leg, I'm gonna face this way. I'm gonna have my right leg forward. Okay, vertical alignment of the knee and the heel. Tucking the back toes under, lifting up, drawing up to the pelvic floor, hands on your hips. I want you to lift the back knee off, straighten out into your lunge. Now, actively bring the pelvis towards a posterior tilt. So forward and up. Okay, nice and tall. If this is too tricky for you, you can have your hands here. Okay, now from here, or hold into a wall, or a table, or a desk, or something, a chair. Now, curl the tail under as you descend the back knee down. Tap, and then extend back. Inhale, tap, let's do six of this. Exhale, stretch it out. Inhale, tap. Exhale, stretch it out. Inhale, tap. Exhale, stretch out. And last one, exhale, stretch out and lower, lower. Now, I'd like you to accentuate that curl of the pelvis, hold here. Now, I need to lean the whole body forward slightly, but keep that scoop in the lower abs. All right, so that will get you a little bit deeper stretch in your hip joint, taking the left arm up, lean forward without losing your back, contained your center, side lateral bend or side bend, and slight extension. Stay there. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Return back to the center. Drop the arm, grab the ankle. If you cannot grab the ankle, use your scarf. Loop around your ankle and you can use the scarf to assist you this way. But if you can conveniently grab your ankle, you may do so with your hand. Find your balance, not like me. <laughs> Shaking around, okay. Again, hold the pelvis, lift up, pull the heel closer to your pelvis. All right, and stay. And stay for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, pull a little closer, four, three, two, and one, release carefully and let it go. Let's switch side. Okay, so let's have the other leg forward, which is my left foot, my left leg. Tucking the back foot under, slight posterior tilt, hands on the hips, lift up the center, rise up onto your lunge position, tall in the spine, and Again, towards posterior tilt, active abdominal, and we bend. And reach. 
and we bend and reach and we bend again three more and two last one we come down all right deepen the curve of the pelvis hold the center lean slightly forward take the right arm up, reach up, side flexion, and slight extension, and we stay here. Keep reaching, lifting, anchor your feet firmly to the ground, five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Grab the ankle with your hand or with the aid of the scalp for the quadricep stretch. And stay there, pulling the heel closer to your bottom. We stay. Curl the pelvis under. Keep the length in the spine. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let that go. All right, bring the left foot back. Tuck the toes under and then lift the pelvis to an up stretch here. All right, so reach your pelvis long. All right, press the arms to the floor, but elongate the spine away from me, from the floor, not from me, from the floor. Send the sitting bone down, or oh, not down, away to the ceiling. Oh gosh, I'm not talking right today. So send the sitting bone towards the ceiling. Okay, now draw the heels down. So your back is active. Your abdominals are active, your arms are active. Now here, let's do some prancing. We're going to bend the right knee, the right heel comes up. Up on a tippy toe, and then we bend the left knee, left heel comes up. Up on a tippy toe, and reach, and then down. And reach, and then down. And reach, and then change. High heel, and we switch. High heel, and we switch. And we switch, and we switch, and three more sets, switch, switch, two more sets, switch, switch, last set, switch, and switch, both heels are down. Walk your hand to your feet, or towards your feet. All right, now here I like it too, lengthen through the spine. Maybe soften the knees if you need to, but I like your fingertips to be on the floor, but I like your spine to be as long as possible. So your back muscles are working here. Now I like you to bend through the left knee. So you sink on the right hip, take your right arm out to the sky in a rotation and stay here. We press down with the left hand we reach up with the right arm and we rotate the spine. We allow the hip to sink a little bit to the right side. And we stay for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and we turn back to the center, long spine. Bending through the right knee, right hand down, rotate to the left. And we reach up to the sky, we twist through the spine, we sink, allow the hip to sink a little bit on the left side, stay. 
and stay for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let it go, return, softening through the knee and then rolling the spine up, 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 standing nice and tall. In breath, exhale, and let it go. And you're all done. Thank you for joining me today. I wish you a lovely day. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira, and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoy this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.